something I also did is I worked with a brand designer as well because it's all well and good landing a new client and designing them a new website. But if their brand identity is really, really old and they don't have any assets and they the only logo they've got is, you know, a, a GIF file from that they're using their email signature, <laughs> you know, you can't you can't work with that. So we'd have to have a real conversation at scoping phase or even before we onboarded them. Look, are you, are you up for are you, are you, are you up for having a look at your brand here? Because we don't have to do a complete rebrand, but we might have to create some assets and evolve your current brand so that we can make the best website that we can. And again, some clients weren't up for that. So I would say, well, I can't help you then. You know, you'll be able to go and find a web designer who will take your crappy brand and put it into a WordPress template or something like that. But I'm not going to do that because I don't believe that's going to bring you a huge amount of value in the longer term. So let's use this as an opportunity to have a look at your brand positioning as well as your website. So you're looking at three things, really, website, brand and content. And you bring those together into a almost a productized service. You've got all your processes behind the scenes. You've got your suppliers. Um, you, you know the order in which you execute things. If you can say that to a client, then, yeah, the prices are going up, but the, the quality of the service and the quality of the results is going to increase as well.